A cup of coffee is really powerful. It sparks conversations, it sparks creativity, and it brings people together around the world. The most exciting potential for coffee research, I think, is to help small stakes farmers improve their sustainability while increasing their economic benefit because we really hope that we can reach out to folks and bridge these gaps and make sure that everyone benefits from improving coffee production. We need to make a top-notch cup of coffee or one that is well suited for the person who's going to have it, but we need to design a unique experience around that cup of coffee. Coffee actually provides employment for not just people here in the United States, but for uh, tens of millions of people around the world. It's almost like it's an, an, an untouched crop. There's been very little research in coffee, believe it or not, even though it's one of the most uh, exchanged commodities in the world. What coffee historically has not had is an academic talent pipeline. There are no universities training students specifically on coffee. And so here at UC Davis, we're trying to grow that academic talent pipeline. UC Davis is a great place for coffee research because it's very multidisciplinary. So I'm working with many people across many different fields that bring unique perspectives to my research. Around 2013, my colleague Tony Kool and I wanted to make a course that would serve as a magnet to students to think about chemical engineering, to think about science. And we hit on the idea of using coffee as a working example to draw people in. And then we started talking with members of the coffee industry and it blossomed from there. So it started as a teaching exercise and it turned into a research endeavor. So I think our history in food science and beverage science has made us a great place for the next beverage in line, which is coffee. Just as we take grapes from uh, the vine to the glass, we're interested in now taking coffee from the bean to the cup and all the science that goes into that. And no place better to study that than UC Davis. The coffee center wouldn't happen without the support of our partners in industry. Toddy has stepped up to help support cold brew research. Probot has helped step up to support our Probot Roasting Fellow. La Marzocco has stepped up with a very generous gift for our brewing espresso lab. Pete's Coffee has helped with our pilot roastery. We have the Folgers Chemical Analytical Laboratory, and we still have naming opportunities for our sensory lab, for several of the sensory booths, and for the lobby. This is a place where students are going to be, become better students because of the coffee center. Uh, coffee companies are going to become more able, better resourced, have better support for the things that we believe. And uh, new ideas will be generated as a result of our partnership between private industry and the University of California. La Marzocco really got interested in the coffee center uh, because we started looking at ways that we wanted to give back to the community. It would create a new pipeline of talent that would come through and really elevate the coffee industry to something that's more akin to the beer industry or the wine industry. I'm excited to partner with the Coffee Center for Cold Brew Research because there's so many questions that nobody really knows. Not only was it an opportunity, but it was a responsibility to be leaders in, in this space and to help fund the research that everybody needed. Being able to quantify that with, with real data is something I'm, I'm very excited about and very excited to be able to share that with, with the world. I'd like to say thank you to all the folks that have already been working with us and contributing to the vision of realizing the UC Davis Coffee Center. It's a big ask and it's a big undertaking and we really have made a lot of great successes and, and moving forward. And people have been so generous in spirit and in their time. We've raised a lot of funds for the building, but we really could still use help funding students. Donors can help with fellowships, they can help with uh, supporting individual research projects, and we'd love to have conversations talking about how can we help support students, learn about coffee, do research on coffee, and eventually help make coffee better for the entire world. <laughs>